Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to make an update video about something that we did that was kind of huge within our infertility journey. So, um, and I feel like this is something that not a lot of people do. Most people, when you go through IVF, obviously when you do your egg retrieval, you have the option to genetically test your embryos. Um, you can opt in, you can opt out. There are a multitude of reasons why you may want to opt in or you may want to opt out. Um, and I'm not here to persuade you that either decision is the right decision. Um, just wanted to talk about my personal experience. We did our IVF egg retrieval in May of 2019 and we had pretty good success. We collected 28 eggs and from that we got 10 embryos so that is a really good amount and uh, we were very over the moon with that and based on my age at the time and just all the information that was in front of us we did not genetically test our embryos um, and we were happy with that decision at that time I stand by the choice that we made like I said we got 10 embryos we have gone through two IVF transfers and within both of those transfers, we have transferred two embryos at a time. So that means we have used four of our embryos. Left us with six, obviously. Hello, math. <laughs> so our first transfer, we transferred two embryos. Um, the transfer was successful. We had a, they called it a singleton pregnancy, meaning it was one baby that stuck around and we were pregnant with her till I was 11 weeks and then we unfortunately suffered a missed miscarriage. Um, that was our third loss at that point in our journey. We've now suffered four losses, um, which I can skip over. We, that's not what this video is about. Um, so we attempted another transfer um, several months later with another two embryos and that transfer was um, a a failure uh, we did not achieve pregnancy and that was that so we pretty much decided to leave that clinic um, at that point uh, we weren't having much success we'd been with them for years and we were just a little fed up with the way things were going so we decided to switch clinics we actually switched clinics twice um, so I'm now at my third clinic where our embryos uh, were recently transported to. If you guys want a video about the transport process, I'm happy to do that. It'll, it'll probably be a quick like five minute video like what it was like. Um, for, for this video's purposes, I just want to focus on um, the fact that we thawed our six remaining embryos and PGT tested them. Once our embryos did get transported to the new clinic, we kind of made the really tough decision to go ahead and move forward with that testing. Um, it was very expensive and it was very risky. Um, there's always a risk when thawing embryos that they will not survive the thaw. It's a lot for those, those little blastocysts to handle. Um, so we were definitely made, a, made aware of the risks going into this, that is for sure. We went in hopeful that we would, you know, at least have some at the end of this. So we had all six of them thawed. Unfortunately, through the thawing process, um, two of them uh, passed away pretty much immediately upon thaw. And one of them was really struggling. They actually had to end up watching it you know, for 24 hours overnight to see if it would expand back out. Um, and when they checked on it the following morning, it had passed away as well. So we did Initially straight off the bat just through the thawing process. We lost 50% of our embryos now from what I'm told that is not super common to lose that many um, so we were I mean, I know I was pretty gutted with that news um, You know you expect to lose maybe one or two but losing, you know half was really hard. Yeah, it was just a lot so um, We lost 50% right off the bat, but that meant that the other three were able to be biopsied and refrozen um, from there. So those three embryos um, got their biopsy and uh, the tissue that's taken from that biopsy was sent away to another lab um, and then the dreaded almost two week wait began. Um, honestly, I 
felt that this weight was worse than any two week weight I'd ever experienced. Um, even with like IVF and everything, it was, it was torture to try to function through all of that. Just knowing that like so much was on the line. It was really hard to deal with and just, you know, try to live our life while waiting for this literally life altering news. Um, so about two weeks later, we finally got the results. We were really happy with the results. Um, you know, we, we could have gotten zero, but uh, we have two genetically normal embryos. Um, the third one that was not genetically normal, I did have a slew of issues with it. Um, I can insert in the description exactly what those things were, but overall the, the embryo was not viable in any way. So um, we do have two PGT normal embryos, which we're very um, grateful for. We do know the genders. Um, one is a boy and one is a girl. Um, so that's kind of cool to know, kind of weird to know. It doesn't really change anything. I mean, obviously, no matter what, you have a 50-50 shot of your kid being one or the other. So um, it is cool that we do have one of each. That was a hell of a process. And I feel like I can't express enough of how uh, difficult it really was. Um, it took a huge toll on my mental health. That's kind of why I haven't been on YouTube a ton lately. We've had a lot going on outside of just the embryo transfer. I have some other infertility updates that I'll tell you guys about in the next video. But this video I really just wanted to focus on um, this process. So good news is we have two PGT normal embryos and we are very excited for the chance to transfer um, at some point. I will say because I get asked often because our first two transfers, we transferred two at a time. Because we only have two left, uh, we will only be transferring one at a time to hopefully give optimal chances to each of them. Um, so yeah, and we will not be doing gender selection. We told our embryologist whichever one um, was higher quality. Well, let's start with that one. So I don't know if that was the male or female embryo. So. Um, that will be a surprise, so uh, just in case you were wondering about that. But yeah, that was kind of my experience with thawing our embryos and PGT testing them after the fact. I know most people obviously do their PGT or PGD or PGS testing um, when the embryos are initially made. So I wanted to kind of just share our experience of what that was like. If you guys have any questions, I'm happy to answer. Um, just you know, leave a comment down below and I'll try to get back to you. Um, and also make sure you're following me on Instagram. People on Instagram knew this news weeks ago. <laughs> I definitely am able to update over there much, much faster. And if you are considering thawing and genetically testing your embryos, I wanted you to know from my personal experience that like they can pass away during the thaw process. And our embryologist tried to reassure us that if they passed during that thaw process, it was more than likely they wouldn't have survived the thaw for transfer or more than likely they weren't viable in the first place. So, you know, uh, it's hard to say. We never exactly know the reasons why, but these are the results. So I hope this was helpful to any of you that are maybe considering doing this. Uh, give this video a thumbs up if it helped you in any way or if you just found it informational or if you just want to be nice, then give me a thumbs up. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next video.